Hey, Kristen here. Thank you for tuning into my channel, Loving My Hair Journey, and you can follow me on Tumblr at Loving My Hair. This video is about the curly girl tag. Um, what is her name? It's bad when you go to a video to find a tag and you don't remember the name. I'm gonna put her videos down there uh, in the description bar so you guys go follow her. The thing about curly girls is that us curly girls whether not just curly but whether we're kinky curly no curl pattern all of our hair is different and i follow a lot of curly hair girls on youtube i don't think anybody has the same hair type as i do but i don't follow natural hair girls for hair types i'm not a person who follows the whole hair type and i follow natural hair girls to see their experiences their regimens their reviews to see what works because everything doesn't work and so i love watching natural hair girls on here on the YouTube and so she I watched her video and I wasn't gonna do it but then I liked the questions that she was answering so I was like okay I'm gonna do it too so I will link her down below it's bad when I can't remember the names so um, the first question was how often do you wash your hair um, I usually wash my hair once a week um, I said this before in another video um, because too much of a good thing is bad you know we should wash our hair we should you know take care of it and you know and give it moisture and everything but there is no need to um, wash your hair all the time. There are people that co-wash, you know, two to three times a week. I, I used to be one of those girls, but now that my hair is longer, I don't, I don't have time for that. So I really just wash my hair once a week and I stretch my wash and goes like I pineapple them at night and then I wash, take it down, I spritz it, moisturize it if it needs to, and I go on. So once a week is good. Um, I may wash it more if there's a lot of gel because I put I usually put gel on my hair when I need to wear, um, wear it in a ponytail for work. Um, so if I notice that there's, there might be some buildup from just putting the gel over and over, I may wash it twice. But no, usually it's one time a week. Um, next question is, do you shower at night or in the morning? Um, I guess that goes with washing my hair. I wash my hair at night. And people are probably like, what at night? Because I don't like leaving the house with wet hair. So... And then I like my washing goes after they've been slept on. So I'll wash my hair like in the evening time, maybe about 7 or 8. I Once it gets done, I'll put my oil and my conditioner or whatever in it and I'll pineapple it. When I take it down the next day, it still may be damp in the middle, but like the ends are dry. And so I love the way it looks. So I wash my hair at night. Um, how many products do you use daily? It's really not that much. I don't, I don't think they use just a ton of products and I don't do that. Um, is water a product? <laughs> uh, I, I, I spritz my hair with water and then I'll put a leave-in um, conditioner and then I'll put like my cocoa castor pudding. Um, that's if I wear my hair down, okay? Um, if I'm putting my hair in a ponytail, I do not use the cocoa castor pudding because I don't feel there's a need for it. So if I wear my hair in a ponytail, I will use water to, you know, get, so I don't mess with my hair when it's dry. I'll put the water, then the hair gel. No, I'll put the water, then the oil to seal it, and then I'll put gel on there. So yeah, I guess four products when I'm doing my everyday hair, and then for work hair, it's three products. Next question, how long does it take to, um, to do your hair? It doesn't really take me that long. The longest it takes is when I actually get out of the shower because I'm going through and putting product in and um, it really doesn't take that long. Like when I get out of the shower, it takes me about maybe 10 minutes because <laughs> I don't really, st I'm not a person who really styles my hair. I just, I like my hair big and I'm not a person who likes to manipulate my hair. However my hair looks that day, that's how it's going to look. If, if it's really getting on my nerves, I might throw a, a headband on, I might throw like a, you know, a scarf or whatever, but it takes, like on days that I'm not washing, it takes about five minutes. I am all about getting out there and just doing what I need to do. Um, next question. How many pins um, does it take to put your hair in an updo? I wouldn't know because I'm not a person who does a lot of updos. <laughs> you guys have never really seen me do updos on my hair. I'm a person who likes to wear my hair out. I don't really do updos. I mean, so it takes no pins. Um, next question is. How long to straighten your hair and how often? Hi, my daughter's behind the camera. Um, how long does it take to straighten my hair? The last time I straightened my hair was December. And how long it took me, like to blow it out, it took, to blow out my hair doesn't take in, really any time. It takes about 20 minutes to blow out my hair. To straighten it, it will take about another 20 because I'm trying to get it straight. So about 40 minutes. Um, I don't straighten my hair really, not anymore. Like it's blown out now. But as far as like taking a flat iron to it, I. I don't know if I will do it again because like I was scared that I had heat damage the last time so I mean 
it, it probably won't even be until August when I flat iron again. But yeah, it takes about 40 minutes if I do want to flat iron my hair. Um, next question, what celebs do you can get compared to? Um, I always get compared to Ray Dong Chong. I don't know why. I don't think we look alike. I think it's the hair. That's it. I haven't really been compared to anybody. Um, every time, every time when I would work, even though she ha she doesn't even have natural hair, people compare me to Rihanna, and this was not usually non-black people, <laughs> because there is no way she performed that I look like. I look anything like Rihanna, but people told me, you you know you're very Rihanna? No, I don't. Quit lying. Um, next question is, do you ever get things stuck in your hair? I've, I never got anything stuck in my hair. And I, I've, I've heard stories of people saying, yeah, I was walking by a tree and got a tree branch. I'm like, this has never happened to me. This has never happened. Um, Honey, you're in my light. <laughs> She's like right, I'm like in front of a window, um, but I've never got anything, don't touch anything, don't touch anything. <laughs> I've never gotten anything stuck in my hair. Um, the next question is, what was your worst haircut experience or best? I haven't had my hair professionally cut since I've been natural. Um, huh? There's mama's hands. I've never gotten my hair professionally cut since I've been natural. Um, I usually just trim myself because here's the thing. Ever since I've been natural, I've cared a lot more about my hair. So um, I won't let anybody touch it but me because when I used to go get my hair done at the salon, the lady who used to, used to do my hair only specializes in relaxed hair. So I don't want anyone touching my hair who doesn't know a thing about natural hair. But when I was relaxed, the best haircut I had was when... When Rihanna was going through her short hair phase, like when she had, <laughs> when she had the haircut, the um, the asymmetrical um, haircut from Umbrella, when she cut it really short after that, and she had like a swoop in the front, really short, that was my best haircut. I got the most compliments on that. But as far as being natural, I haven't had a haircut. Um, next question: What kind of things have people said about your hair? Um, I haven't got any negative comments, at least not to my face. Um. People usually, when I, I used to work at Walmart and customers all the time would say they loved my hair. Every single time. And, and the I, ironic thing about it, it was usually women who weren't black. And I, I don't know, I'm sure somebody has talked about this, about how they get more compliments from, from, from white women. I've gotten a lot of compliments from white women. They say they love my hair. I've gotten some from black women, but it's, it's mostly from white women. Black men love my hair. Like, I can get stopped wherever I am and they'll say, I love your hair. And so, um, that's, people just say they love my hair. I haven't got any negative comments. Because, even if I did, I'd be like, well, that's your problem, not mine. Um, what, uh, the last question is, what is one thing people should know about curls? Um, the one thing that people need to know is that we take care of our hair. So, uh, people, America is so washed up in thinking that, okay, that we need to have bone straight hair in order to be presentable. That's, that's what it comes down to. So when they see our hair, they think it's not done. They think we didn't take any time to do it and everything else. Um, so that's one that I want people to know. And they think that because our hair looks like this, that we don't wash it, that we don't take care of it. And that's a complete lie. You know, I, I don't, leave I don't I'm not gonna leave my hair like this for weeks and not put water on it or shampoo it or condition it or whatever it takes a long time to do our hair and the thing about curly hair is that you have to be more careful with it in its natural state because it's more prone to breakage so I'm very careful with my hair like when I wash my hair I I, I make sure I condition the ends I make sure I seal the ends I make sure I detangle before I think about styling in any type of way so we go through a lot and you know even though I don't spend a lot of money on my hair when it comes to products there are people that do because they have products that just work for their hair so there's a lot of time a lot of effort a lot of product a lot of money that goes into the hair a lot of investment because if you want to take care of your hair it takes research to figure out what works for your hair and what doesn't work so that's one thing I want people to know is that no I don't just get out of the bed and go I you I go in the mirror and I do my hair so yeah that's one thing oh another thing is that the girl I got this from, I think her name is Diane. I'm pretty sure her name is Diane. I think her name is Curly Diane here on YouTube. I kind of remembered. Um, 
she said that people think that girls with curly hair don't look professional and I agreed with her 100% I when I went to go work at Walmart when I went on my interview I was natural and it did not stop me from getting a job I know what you're probably saying but it's Walmart it didn't stop me from getting a job there are people who okay there are people who will put on a wig who will straighten their hair for a job interview and when they get the job go back with natural hair I I think it's ridiculous you know, if your job is not going to hire you because of the way your hair looks, then you don't need to work there. Like, I understand where I work because I work in a kitchen and I wouldn't want anybody in making my food with my hair because I don't want because I don't want hair in my food. So I would expect your hair to be, you know, back or in a ponytail or whatever. But if I'm in an office environment and you don't want anything to do with me because of the way my hair looks, then I really don't want anything to do with you. So that's two things. Say hi. You say hi. This is Mama's, and of course she's natural. This is my baby. That's my baby. Um, and one day I will do a video featuring both, featuring both of my girls, and they're because they have completely different texture hair than one another, and so it's a learning experience. So anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Um, and if you guys have any questions, if you want to do this tag, do the tag, and then do a video response or whatever. But I'm gonna get out of here, kill some time a little bit before I gotta go to work, and I will see you guys later.